Your computer running slow? Are you, are you dreading like, man, I really need to install, you know, do a fresh copy of Windows? We have the new 24H2 that's out. I want to upgrade to it, but my computer's really running like crap. You know, I don't want to just add more to it and it's rolling like crap. I really need to, but I don't want to install games. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go through my settings. You, you know, you set up your computer, what, six months, eight months, a year ago, two years ago. I mean, you, you, you might be one of the ones that, I mean, you go a, a long time without resetting um, or, you know, reinstalling your Windows. Me, personally, I suggest everybody should do these steps that I'm fixing to follow, if not a fresh copy, but at least do these settings. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into System. When you come into System right here, you go down to Windows Update. On what in, Inside when you get Windows Update, you're going to click on uh, Advance, and then you're going to click on Recovery. So I do take a little bit longer going through these, that way people can really follow along. So sorry if, if that you know bothers you. So you can do a couple of things now once you're in here. You can actually reset this PC. So you can keep your personal files. So all your videos, music, whatever, you know, documents, stuff like that. But it'll erase all your other applications. So uh, Steam, Battle.net, OBS, wh whatever your other applications in, it'll delete that. You can do that or you can remove everything. So uh, the next one we have is fix problems with Windows Update. So what this is going to actually do, it's actually going to reinstall Windows without affecting none of your files, nothing. Uh, you might have one or two programs that might, so like me, if I redo mine, I'll have to re-download uh, Sonar GG uh, by SteelSeries. Other than that, that's it. So uh, we'll repair components and system files. If a, a repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix the system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows. Your apps, documents, and settings will be preserved, which means they won't be affected. Please make sure your PC is on and connected to the internet and a power source. I mean, you gotta have your PC on anyways. Uh, that's just uh, the way some of, these people, some of these companies word things, man. It's crazy. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna do this with the computer off, right? Uh, after installation, we'll let you know um, when it's time to restart your PC to complete the repair. So again, it's saying automatic uh, restart my PC 15 minutes after installation. This right here should, depending on your system hardware, a, a entry level computer is going to take probably about 20 to 30 minutes. A mid range is going to take probably about 15 to 20 minutes and a higher end. So like mine, I have a 13700K with a 4090 in here, 32 gigs of RAM. It takes me roughly 10 to 15 minutes to do this and really and truly i like to do this every two to three months because i'm one of the ones though i like to wipe my complete system completely clean and start fresh uh every eight eight months eight nine months is i like to do a fresh copy but in between though i like to run this right here to keep everything fresh and to make sure that windows maybe there was some stuff i did and, and it, i got a bad registry or bad it would you know, uh, other things that are going corrupt files within the Windows operating system. Well, instead of running Windows PowerShell and command prompts and all this to go in there and fix your red, you can do this right here. And it, I mean, no more than 30 minutes and it fixes it easy. And you don't have to go through a bunch of steps. This is the number one quickest way to fix your computer, especially when you're at a loss or you're not into computers like people like me or Chris Titus or other people. Chris Titus is this, he's on another level though. He's a very smart dude. But anyways, if, if you're not into this and it just, you just want your PC to run better and then be done. Again, Windows 11, this does not work on Windows 10 or nothing. This was a feature years ago. I think XP, I think Vista. Um, I'm not sure if it was a feature in Windows 8. I didn't run Windows 8 that much uh, or Windows 7. I did run a little bit of Windows 7, but uh, I got disabled and I really wasn't into the computers. I was bed rested and in and out of doctors for, for quite a few years. So I didn't really worry about too much. But anyways, really, really quick. But I'm going to show you some other ways just in case this didn't work for you or you want to do something different or even you want to you want to do a fresh copy and you don't have an extra USB thumb drive or something on on, on hand. I can show you other ways to do that. Give me just a sec and we'll get everything set up.
then the first thing you need to do is you need to double check your hardware. Uh, and, and like I said, number one cause of a lot of it is RAM. RAM is a big, big factor within whether it's the motherboard, the RAM on the motherboard, your RAM channel went out. You know, you got, if you have a, a motherboard with four dim sticks, one of those dim sticks could have went out. So if you're having a lot of problems, that's one, to me, that's one of the biggest, biggest things to test. But anyways, what I was saying is you go into the BIOS, most BIOS have a uh, mem test built into the BIOS. You just go into your BIOS, you find that mem test, you click it, and you look for any errors. So if you're getting errors and you have it XMP enabled, then restart, uh, restart your system, go back into BIOS, turn the XMP off, restart your system, now XMP's off, then go do it again. If you're still getting those errors, a lot of times they'll tell you in what DIM it is. So you got DIM 1, 2, 3, and 4, so you got uh, channel, you got dual channel, channel 1, channel 2, and it'll tell you, so take a, take a RAM stick out. Because it might not just be your RAM stick that went bad, it could have actually been the motherboard that went bad. Too much voltage. These motherboards just put a lot of voltages. But anyways, so now let's get into the next one, which is a little, it's not hard, it's really not, but it is a little tedious than the last one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Windows install uh, or Windows 11. And now you have Windows 11 uh, Assistant, Installation Assistant. You can click this and make you a thumb drive. Or you can click this one right here, make you, well, you can click this one and go through the progress and do different things. You can do this one right here to make you a bootable USB drive. I always suggest, just in case, Anything ever happens to your system, to always make you a bootable so you have it on hand. Because if something went out and you don't have a laptop or you don't have another computer and you want to be back up and you want to re-download everything, then always back up you know, your, your files, your pictures, your videos, everything else like that. And then make you a bootable drive with the latest Windows at that time. Or you come here and you download a Windows 11 disk uh, ISO. So again, you're going to sit here, multiple edition, click download. You're going to choose what region. I'm in the United States. Confirm. And then the next one is going to be 64-bit. So I already downloaded it, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll go into my download files, downloads, and here it is right here. So I'll bring it over to the desktop real quick. So here it is. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. So... I remember back whenever I first started, we had to have virtual drives and stuff where the computer thought that there was an actual disk drive in. Not no more. Now you just double click it. So once you double click it, it the Windows 11 is going to mount it on it by itself and make the computer think that you actually have a physical disk drive in your computer or a thumb drive. So now it's going to ask you, yes, open. So now you have where it would be just like a thumb drive on here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on setup. Hit run. Yes. Minimize that. Now it's getting everything ready. I want to help make installation better. Do not give this to Microsoft. Change how setup downloads updates. Okay, so you can download updates. So if this was something that you did after an update, then you don't want to do this, right? You don't want to do it whatsoever because you don't know if it was an update that messed up your computer or what. So just click not right now and then click next. And now it's going to get everything ready for you. All right. So now it's done. You're going to hit accept. Making sure you're ready to install. So now it's going to go through your whole PC. It's going to see everything that you need and make sure that everything is ready for you to install. Again, a little bit different. It's not a long way of doing it, but now this right here, though, you can actually make sure that you have everything backed up to a separate hard drive. So like me, for instance, I'm going to unplug my one hard drive, my external. But for me, for instance, I have three hard drives in my PC. See, look, and it already made it where it looks like there's an actual another one, but I have three hard drives in here. I have my main hard drive, which I have my video editing software on. I have this hard drive, which has... Uh, some more video editing and uh, all my video games and then I have my spare drive that has all my backups so that's how I have mine I will move all my videos everything over to my e drive for all my extra stuff and then I would wipe everything out so again 
This right here takes a little extra time. It's going to go through and then it's going to make sure everything is right. Okay, so now it says install Windows 11, keep personal files. You can change what you want, what you want to keep. Nothing, keep my personal files. You'll be able to manage your Windows settings, keep personal files only. Now you get to choose what you want to do. Me, I just redid Windows two days, three days ago, something like that, uh, on the fourth. So what's today? Today's the eighth, so four days ago. Because I have the new, uh, the newest, yes, I want to quit. Uh, I have the newest uh, 24H2 on mine, which I'm still trying to go through some settings. So if you're not like, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, here it is right here, 24H2. I did it on 10-4, 2024 is whenever I installed. So again, I'm running 13700K with a 4090. Uh, I mean, this is just my setup. Nice, clean, little, this, what I need, what, you know, what I need for. But anyways, it's not that hard to do this. It's not that hard to get your computer up and running and better than uh, if something's going on. Again, things to look for is hardware problems. Again, the biggest one is your RAM. Second one would be a hard drive issue. Very far and few can be a power supply issue. Uh, I mean, really and truly, like I said, this you, you need to check your RAM, and of course, you need to see what the last thing that you installed. That's gonna be the biggest thing. And if you're on a lot of download sites, I mean, they, they, there again, you have you have another problem going on here. So uh, that would be a whole other video on itself. So you need to watch out from going to different download sites and, and pirating certain softwares, music, and stuff like that, because you get a lot of a lot of uh, viruses that actually mess with your registry of your PC. A again, I mean, nice, easy, simple, simple, simple solution. Number one, of course, is one of the fastest ones. This right here is also really, really nice because you have an ISO file for the second method uh, th just to reinstall Windows without needing a thumb drive. If you don't have a thumb drive on hand, uh, you just do it. I suggest everybody thumb drives are so cheap you only need eight gigs so get you a little eight gig thumb drive and i mean get you a little label put around it and say you know windows and have you a thumb drive but anyways hopefully this helped y'all out don't forget to like and subscribe uh, i'll have more more tech tips like this i have more reviews coming up for your hard-earned money and you know the end of uh, 2024 going into 2025 uh, that's what this channel is about is about your hard-earned money and what you can buy and what products are good i'm tired of seeing these other youtubers these other content creators get this badass review of a product that's actually really trash because they get it for free and they're making money off of it man that that, that just rips my hide um but no i'm thomas of tomology i'll catch you in the next one